Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another Pazuki mukbang and I'm so excited. I know I want to do more Pazukis more frequently, but there are so many desserts that I've been wanting to try lately, so I have been slacking on my game. But it's okay because we have another one today, and this one is Halloween themed because Halloween is on Tuesday, and I cannot believe it, but I'm so excited. So this video is kind of Halloween themed. Um, so this is a black pizuki. I used activated charcoal to make it black. So it's just a regular pizuki. And then I added activated charcoal to it to make it black. And then I got a request to do a pizuki like a mummy. So I put frosting on it. That's kind of melting now. But it was supposed to look like a mummy. And then I put jam on the inside to replicate blood. And then there's vegan vanilla bean ice cream on top. And then I made some grilled cheese because I've been craving grilled cheese. And also grilled cheese with tomato soup was my childhood. Tomato soup is the best soup to have with grilled cheese. So I have some tomato soup as well in this little baby cauldron that my friend gave me. I thought it was perfect for this video so I had to use it. Um, and then these are just regular vegan grilled cheese sandwiches. Also for today's mukbang, I'm bringing you another conspiracy theory video. And this one, it's pretty dark, so I'm going to throw out a little bit of a disclaimer. This video is for mature audiences as it contains adult content and it's very dark and very sad. And I mean no harm to any of the families involved. So if you're sensitive, please click off or watch this video on mute because I want you to take care of yourself. But yeah, first I'm going to start with the food though because I'm so incredibly excited. Dessert first. I'm so excited for this pizuki. I've never made a black pizuki before. And it's perfect for Halloween. Mmm. Brom. I'm also going to get black all over my face, so bear with me. Also, in my fettuccine mukbang, I mentioned that I was just struggling and I said to bear with me. And I meant that I just like, it was one of those days where I kept dropping things or just things kept going wrong. But I was actually fine, like I was just being a baby and complaining about it. But you guys, a lot of you guys commented on that video and said that you hoped that I would get better or I'd feel better. And it was just so sweet and heartwarming. You guys are just always ready to comfort me and you always have my back. And I just really appreciate it. Even in the smallest things, you guys are so sweet and kind. And I just wanted to say thank you for that. It meant a lot to me. So I taste the jelly, I think it just blends in with the black because I use strawberry jelly and it's not very red.
but I think that probably would have been inevitable with any type of jelly because I used the black. For today's conspiracy, I'm going to be talking about something called Project Sunshine. So Project Sunshine was a chain of experiments that started in the year 1953, and these experiments were conducted by the U.S. Department of Energy and the U.K. Atomic Energy Authority, and these studies were essentially to deduce the effect that radioactive fallout had on humans, specifically analyzing the lasting ramifications nuclear radiation had on the biosphere. And they discovered a radioactive isotope called SR-90 or strontium-90, which constituted the most significant danger to human health due to nuclear fallout. And Project Sunshine decided that the ideal way to calculate the amount of SR-90 was by evaluating its accumulation in the tissues and bones of the dead. And supposedly, maturing bones are the most liable to radiation degradation. Now, in order to execute a successful series of experiments, they ended up attaining 1,500 samples of human body parts, of which they only used 500, most being young children and babies that were often taken without the parents insight or permission how in the world do you think that that is okay for example in 1995 a woman gave birth to a stillborn and later on the doctors proceeded to remove the legs from the baby and as a means to avert the mother from knowing what they did to the baby they precluded her from dressing her own baby for the funeral how sick is that? Like, that's just, that is repulsive and inhumane, and I don't understand. I don't. But this is all speculation, okay? So the Australian Ministry of Health and Aged Care instigated an investigation into divulgence of Australian baby parts. That feels wrong to say. These inquiries were instituted just days succeeding a British newspaper stating scientists acquired children's bodies from numerous hospitals and sent their bones and other body parts to the US for confidential nuclear experiments. Although British and Canadian media have claimed that babies' remains were 
sent to the U.S. for Project Sunshine, there were no official inquisitions organized on the matter. For example, in 1995, ABC News published supposed facets that the project or initiative, in fact, did procure remains in the poverty-stricken cities where tracing was complacent. So basically, they're saying that the remains of the children were taken from the more poverty-stricken areas because they weren't able to trace such things. It's just so sad and I just don't like thinking about it, but here we are. Okay, I'm gonna have some grilled cheese. So like I said, these are all regular, which I haven't had grilled cheese on my channel in a really long time, but I think it's always been loaded grilled cheese. I don't think I've ever had like a regular grilled cheese on my channel before, but one of them I just did butter. One of them I did butter and garlic powder and salt and then another one i did onion powder and salt i think this one is actually the garlic powder one <laughs> actually okay i wanted to show you that cheese pull but i think i'm going to start with the regular one first so just plain vegan cheese on the inside but the butter on the outside is different on each one and this one's just plain butter Such a comforting food, you guys. Yeah, this one's the onion powder. Honestly, there's not a huge difference between the regular and the onion, but I think they're both equally as good. This is the one I'm most excited for. It's the garlic powder, man. So good. In June of 1995, the same year that ABC News had their whole claim about the poverty-stricken cities, undisclosed records from the Atomic Energy Commission were released, which revealed that the scientists operating Project Sunshine were conscious of the ambiguous or questionable morals and even permissible bases on which their experiments were being managed. So they knew what they were doing and they knew that it didn't look good and that it wasn't good, but they did it anyway. All speculation. So if they really were body snatching, they were completely aware of the fact that they were taking baby and child remains from families who were completely oblivious to it. These families didn't even know, at least most of them didn't. These poopy scientists knew exactly what they were doing 
and knew how ethically wrong it was, but did it anyway. So messed up. I, it makes me so mad. So now I'm going to eat to make me feel better. <laughs> Typically, I'm not the biggest fan of vegan cheese, but sometimes the vegan cheese pulls make me happy. Years later, when the public found out about how these scientists were carrying out their studies, they were petrified, as anyone should be. That would be mortifying. However, the project was successful in its pursuit to find the effects of strontium-90, which it was discovered to be bad for humans. But that's just not the way to do it, man. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Do you think that the immorality of their research is justified in the name of science i just think it's wrong and they could have found a better way to do it i mean i do understand needing to utilize what you can for research that is important and could be detrimental for our health in the future if that makes sense but i'm pretty sure they could have found another way to research this the way that they executed it was just way too immoral in my opinion can see the little cauldron more now <laughs> so that is actually the end of this one this was a shorter one but let me know what you guys think or if you've heard about it before definitely um on the spookier side baby parts are you kidding me
Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed the mukbang today. I definitely did. These are super comforting. I feel very comforted. I don't know why the edges are sticking more. I think it might be because of the activated... My camera just cut me off. But I think it's because of the activated charcoal. I don't know why. Because I oiled it beforehand too. So I don't know. Still bomb. Also, if you didn't know... If you're going to eat activated charcoal, do not eat it with your vitamins or your pills because it is a detoxifier, so it absorbs toxins, but it also absorbs nutrients as well. So if you're trying to take a supplement with activated charcoal, the activated charcoal will absorb your vitamins or the nutrients from your vitamins. So if you're eating activated charcoal, eat it separately from your vitamins. Mm. Okay. Last bite. Alright you guys, that is the end of this mukbang. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the food and I hope you enjoyed the conspiracy theory video today. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying my true crime and conspiracy theory videos because I have so much fun doing them. I think after October they will lessen a little bit just because the extensive research is hard but it's definitely fun just there will be a little bit less as we continue on make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you want to see more and don't forget to subscribe by the way it's free and i'll see you in my next video bye guys